Well, 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 here we are once again. You may be asking, what is this? What are you getting at here? Well, I'm not going to be laughing at some homeless man. Like I said in the last video, speaking of last video, it's being uploaded right now. Anyways, enough of that. It's snowing outside in October, at least in Colorado. How come? You're just trying to let that one, you're just trying to let all I want for Christmas on thaw even more? What's wrong with you? Anyways, enough about the outside. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another funny video. And um, today we've got here a weirdo, a peasant, a low-budget Gordon Ramsay, as you can say. I love many to the dearest. I just, mmm, that Benjamin Franklin, mmm, that, that Abraham Lincoln, oh, ho, ho, I love money. As you can tell. <laughs> you don't believe me? Screw you. Anyways, some people love money too much. And that's all they want. Or they're just psycho. Today, we're going to be looking at a cheapskate that uses her dishwasher to cook lasagna. Now, I know maybe like one person out there is going to be like, oh, okay, your dad's copying. You copied dad's. No, I don't. Last time I checked, he didn't do this. So, uh, if you're watching this, hello. Let's get into it. Yeah, I don't want to. Oh. I do. Okay, what the hell are you doing, first of all? What the hell are you doing? Okay, stand still. We just grab a little piece of my clothes. Stand still. What are you doing? You believe that laundry detergent does run a scam on people? I learned how to conserve my detergent by my method at work, drawing blood. The me oh, so you use blood? That was blood? I thought you use blood to clean your clothes? Listen, listen. I do believe... I forgot which one. I oh, yeah. Softener. I do believe softener is a scam. So we have a cheap, easier way that keeps the the washer clean and your clothes smelling, smelling fresh. It, it's called vinegar. Some form of vinegar. I don't know. I don't pay attention. My mom buys vinegar. She pops it in the softener. Makes my clothes smell nice. You should try it. It cleans out your uh, your washer. But why would you use blood? Oh no, she's talking about detergent, not softener. Never mind. Measurements are very precise. By using the amount that I put inside of the syringe, it weighs out correctly, so I'm not overdoing it. Oh yes, cause the blood from your your fingertip can clean an entire country with dirty underwear. Unbelievable. I'm gonna say this. What are you saving? That's just, just, the, dust, just the dust and dirt. I collect lint from the dryer. First off, because it's clean. Second. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. Listen, listen, listen. When you do laundry, when you do laundry, the reason why that bull crap, that's the dust. That's the bull crap. That's the, that's the George Washington that accidentally, that was accidentally left in your pocket. All oh, that is dirty. That is, that is, that is crap that you probably rolled around in 
popped in the washer with your blood detergent, and then it just grabs all that because the washer just dusts, dusts it off. The dryer takes it because the reason why they do that is so that way when you unfold, I mean, fold your clothes, you don't see a little friend in your hoodie. I don't have to buy cotton swabs, so I use it to remove my nail polish, my makeup. I'm using. You know what you're doing, basically. You grab. You're going out to the street. You're picking up some grass, some dirt, bringing it back to your house, put it in a bowl. That's what you're doing. The lint right now to apply my compact powder on my face. It shades it out very good. Just as if a cotton swab would. I am not worried about. Yeah, but a cotton swab gets it more. You're just putting crap on a crap face. How sanitized lint is. If the clothes have been dried and ran through the washer and they've been washed, therefore the lint is clean itself. No. No. Okay, okay, okay. Tell me this. And tell me this. If your fan was full of dust and and crap and you just want to clean it out, do you grab do you grab those cotton tubs and save it for later? Because all oh, you was breathing clean air, so my fan is clean? Or you grab a duster, dust that hole and chuck it in the trash. You tell me. Stephanie has countless money-saving tactics. By using just one light bulb that she moves from room to room, she saves more than $60 a month on her electric bill. Stephanie has That's a good job. Smart. She works at a doctor's office. She does have a lot of money saved up. She doesn't want to spend nothing. This is ridiculous. She should get fired. She's stealing blood to wash her clothes. She smells like Iron Man. Ridiculous, but... I do it because I love Stephanie, so. Yeah, and until she steals your blood to clean her clothes. In our house, we have what we call Navy showers. I'm not allowed to take long showers because Stephanie wants to save water for the water bill. I go in, turn water on, reach my body off. Cut the water off. <laughs> Lather your body down, make sure you get every area so you don't miss anything. She can't come back to it. Turn it back on, reach the soap off my body. And get out. I don't really No, you need you need to get in your scalp. You need to you need to And you need to And you need to clean them fingers. You can't do that in a two-minute shower. This is the opposite of a regular woman. Have you ever lived in a, a female household? My mom, my sister, my aunt, and my grandma take years in the shower. We put it on a product, all this crap. You only need like 11 minutes. You just, I'm not even gonna get into my routine. Just, this is the opposite of a woman. She's not even a woman, she's not even a man. She's an alien. You get to watch my full body. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I should be able to just get in there and take a manly shower. So go to your friend's house. Go to your friend's house and take a shower. Turn it off! To keep her water bill down, Stephanie found a way to make sure Patrick sticks to a two minute shower. You have a baby monitor to monitor your husband? No. Right now, Patrick. Okay. <sighs> Patrick. Stephanie has a Great. baby monitor. I can still hear you. Damn. My family feels that my cheapskate ways are out there. Uh, I no, they're not out there. They're not even in here. They're in the back rooms. They're weird, Optimus Prime, and freaking what's his face, and Megatron fight. It's not even out there. You're you wacko. Not not from the Animaniacs. I don't really care. 
this is my reusable boiling water. Yes, I know. Okay, listen. I will admit something. When I'm making mac and cheese, I may reuse the same pot once. Not forever. Once. Oh, it may be a little chunky, but it saves me from spending more. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't grab a drink for this video. <gasps> what the hell were you cooking? Cooking grandma's ashes? Money on my water bill by cutting on the water and putting more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. So that saved my water. Lunch time. Come on, let's eat. Mijos and niños running around the, the pincha place. You're making them eat grandma's ashes. And you, you listen, as soon as your husband is drained out from his body, from how much blood you're taking from him to clean your clothes, your kids are going to start worrying about their high cholesterol. <laughs> Someone needs to smack that woman. When are you going to change that water? I'll change it in due time. Just don't rush me, because the more you ask me that, the longer I have to keep it. <laughs> listen, listen. I'll tell you this much. Take the kids, move to your friend's house, get back on your feet. That's all I've got to say. Leave this hoe alone. Ha ha. That rhymed. I'll never ask you that again. Is it good? It is? You gonna eat all your food? Yeah. Well, whatever you don't eat, I'm gonna say. I am able to make the most of every food and drink that we have in this house. You know, three years ago, somebody somewhere ate a bat. And then we had the common flu turn 19. What if they have COVID-19? Let me let me put let me put this virus in a bottle so I can eat it again. Yummy! I swear, my uncle. Ooh. House by reusing. If it doesn't get all drunk up, I pour it back. If it doesn't get all slopped up, I put it back in its container. I'm gonna save this pasta sauce for the next spaghetti dinner. I'm not coming to your house at all. We do not have to be cheap. We really don't. She has money, I have money, like, what's the point of being so cheap, or... I understand that it saves, but, like, she's being too cheap. With a strict monthly food budget of $400, there's no... What are you doing? That's not how you clean a fork. You need water! You need water, you need to... I'm not doing that. You need to... You need to scrub it, you need to get... Like I said before with the shower, you need to clean the fingers. Then... Pop it in the wash, and you pop it right back into the drawer. Probably doesn't exist. Room in Stephanie's world for extra expenses, including entertaining guests. Patrick really wants to have a football party. I am very unhappy about people coming over to our house. Really? Yeah, because you're sick. I don't think nobody wants to go to your house. <laughs> no. Begged her to have people over and be honest with you, like, hands and knees. Having people over to the house means Stephanie's pockets are getting dug into, and I do not like that. So you know what you should do? You should move to Mars. I'm going to change what I do to impress your friends. You wanted this party. You know how things go in our house. Come on. No. Visitors. Dollar cents? I'm just not with them. You know, you no, know, back then, back, back then, during around the war ages, a man ruled their house, not a woman. Don't say I'm sexist. I'm sorry. This still happens. And honestly, I wish they would bring this back because kids, especially today's kids, I know I'm part of them, but you are annoying. Freaking the got meme. Huh. A man ruled 
his throne. Nobody took over that throne because he was the one who was paying bills. The woman cooked, cleaned, and fed their kids. But the man was working his booty off, his booty off and putting food on the table. And kids were meant to be seen, not heard. And if they were heard, popped in the mouth. The whole people coming over thing. I feel very uncomfortable hosting a football party at our house, but I love Patrick. <laughs> so you can only bring one friend. This football party is throwing my monthly budget way off. Your monthly budget? What car was that again? It's a truck. It's a truck! Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Give me a second. Hold on. Let's see here. Let's see here. How much is a truck? I need, I need a price. I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a price. Please, I, I just need to, need shopping. I need a price. 4K or 1400K. Roughly the same amount. But listen, if you're the only one who's driving that car, you know what you should get? You know what you should get? I spelled bike wrong. You should get a bike. Whoops. 17 minutes. Holy smokes. I am sorry. Let's get back to the video. This football party is throwing my monthly budget way off course. It's not a touchdown for me. At least she goes to the store. That's when I buy fruits and vegetables, I want to pay for what I eat, not for what I don't eat. There's no need to pay for the vine if all I'm eating is a grain. That's illegal. That's illegal. You can't. Remember, not the wedding planner. I forgot the movie what it was called, but it's similar to the wedding planner. This man goes to a store. Rips over the buns, takes the buns that he needs for the hot dog. It's a funny scene. Just look it up. Just, just, I'll find it later so I can show you guys at the very end. But it's, it's freaking hilarious. That's illegal. You got put in jail for like three months. What are you doing? That voice crack, though, got me crazy. You're opening the grapes. Which I, we all did this as a kid. We, we just took a grape and... Every time I went to the store, but she's opening it in front of where multiple cameras are at, by the way, and you're, they're stupid. Grapes. I'm with her. I'm with grandma. That'll do me justice. Yeah. Now, the next time I bought grapes, I have to look for the bag that is not half empty. Probably only need about three of these. My bananas? I'm not going to eat the whole of the banana. I eat the banana itself. <laughs> oh, just imagine going to the store and you see someone just. How you doing? <laughs> For this bag, I'm done. 50 cents. By removing the peels, pits, and stems from fruits and vegetables before they're weighed at the register, Stephanie saves up to $3 per shopping trip. I and now her husband can pay a $3,492 fine to get her out of prison. I've never seen anyone peel bananas and put them in a basket. That is weird. No, it's not weird. It's stupid. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? Um, I'm going to be making a lasagna. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I'm going to need some ground beef. 
by any chance, if you have any other ground beef that's already left over. It's all sold. We sell it on a daily basis fresh all the time. Okay. And mm -hmm. So there's nothing that would expire? Oh, no, man. We don't. No, they're not weird. They're not special. They're not stupid. They're, they're not like you. To expire. No, man. We don't sell expired product here. No true meat market. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did you just ask for expired product? I know she's making the lasagna. It's beef. But what if you're making a chicken sandwich? Yeast infection. Or something else. Yeast or whatever. Just go with the joke. It would ever do that. Can I see what your beef fat looks like? Sure, I'll be right back. All right. Excuse me a second. Thank you. Wow, and how much would two pounds of the beef fat be? Let me cut a piece off and we'll get close to two pounds as we can, all right? Okay. <laughs> 1.97. And how much is that? Two dollars and fifty-three cents, ma'am. I will take the beef fat. You'll take the beef fat. I'm satisfied with that. You know that beef fat. Remind me if I'm wrong, but some of that beef fat could be made into clothes or be a nice stock. You are using it for the lasagna. It, it, am I wrong? It, am I wrong? Tell me if I'm wrong in the comments. I don't know. I have my ground beef over here. Your spoon is going to melt. I Whoa. have my ground beef. Your spoon is going to melt. You don't just put it next to a pot. Do you want chemicals? All that paint crap is going to get into the thingy and do one of two things. Poison. The bottom of your pot, which can also deteriorate and deteriorate and poison your food or your saved water, or it could cause your house to go on fire, and then you got to pay for another house or live under a bridge, you psycho woman. Over here, I'm going to stretch out the beef by adding the rest of this or whatever's left from this to stretch it out for the lasagna. By supplementing the meat with the beef fat. Stephanie saved 75%. I haven't cooked. By supplementing the meat with the beef fat. Oh. Pink! 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 Stephanie saved 75% on the ingredients for her lasagna. And now I get to poison my kids. This is why we save the sauce. Mmm. -mm. <laughs> Now to save money, I multitask with washing dishes and cooking meals. With I'm sorry. I know it's in the thumbnail, but her saying I multitask by poisoning my food. I thought you just popped it in the washer. I mean, not the washer, the dishwasher, and that was it. You're washing your dishes, sweetheart. You're going to put chemicals, and then it's going to. Poison your food! Oh, this woman is killing herself by the minute. Hey, tell you this much, she'll have enough money for her medical bill. With my dishwasher, I just gotta make sure I wrap it really well or else the food will get wet. With the huh, it's gonna get wet, sweetheart. Water, believe it or not, is very strong. If you jump off a cliff with water at the bottom and it's deep, you're going to break your bones because you're landing on concrete, practically. Liquid concrete. I accidentally muted this. Make it put Dishwasher reaching a temperature of 170 degrees. The lasagna will be fully cooked in one and a half hours without using the additional gas of an oven. I just might put these dishes in here while I'm the lasagna's in the dishwasher, and it's cooking. Fish, hot dogs, lasagna, I'm telling you, I do it all the time. Hey, girl. Hey, Mr. Adrian. How you doing? Having people over, I'm not very excited. I don't want to be embarrassed. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Hey. This is, this is the second time you did that. I gotta send money for electricity. I'm sorry. 
I have to. I'm sorry, my wife is insane. To turn it off when it's a commercial. No, we ain't having this. I'm sorry. No, we ain't having this. I'm not having this at all. Stephanie's very cheap. Cheapest person I've seen in a long time, I'll tell you that much. Oh, come on. Listen, I won't hate. I'm gonna hate on your jewelry. That's probably cheaper than her. Girl, excuse me, can I use some? Dark Souls, I am real. I thought the walking around with the candle is really insane. I think we can use some light. They can really use a light. Ready. Right mm, out, of course. Eat that meal. Yeah, this whole thing. <laughs> Don't eat it. It's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be cooked in a dish. <laughs> Little broski says so. Nah, I don't know what you're thinking, Ma. There's poison. The lime tastes like water. W A T E R. Water. Mm. Nasty. I thought it said it was very embarrassing, very. Like, uh, people are like, what the heck? She's pretty cheap. I get the utmost satisfaction being the cheapskate that I am. It's for me and my family, not anybody else. I don't care what nobody says. It was the Stephanie way, and the Stephanie way is the better way. The Stephanie way is going to get you killed. That's the Stephanie way. Oh, my. I can never live like this. Anyways, all I'm gonna say, I'm possibly never gonna look at my dishwasher the same again. And I'm never gonna wash my clothes with blood. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you managed to enjoy this, Daz, if you're watching this, you should react to the same video I watched. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that, blah, blah, blah. What? Oh, you haven't heard? Yeah, part eight in New Superman Bros. We. Um, yeah, it's taking forever. I'm still trying to do the thumbnail. And uh, Mario Bros. Wonder just came out. And I have a job. I'm, I'm just going to start tomorrow. So, don't worry. I'll tell you this, as soon as I get home, this is not my home, this is my dad's home, as soon as I get home, I'll record